The construction job site is so fluid that unpredictable obstacles occur almost every day. To stay prepared for these obstacles, look ahead schedules become increasingly important for field personnel. Using SIS, short interval scheduling, can make our scheduling more effective than ever by giving us the ability to respond to the work obstacles in a more visible manner. This video will walk you through the steps of scheduling and planning your days on the SIS web application. If you haven't set up your job yet, please contact MCA or your company administrator. Logging into the SIS is easy. Simply enter your username and password in the boxes provided and click the login. You will then be directed to the job selection screen. First, you will select your division, then the project, and the job that you intend to work on. Once you press continue, it will then open up your SIS schedule for the job for that day. When you schedule your SIS, the first thing you need to do is confirm that the date is correct. Note that the day you are scheduling is still red. The red dot indicates that the day has not been scheduled yet. You can then go to the bottom of the page and confirm that your shift hours are correct for that day. By default, the shift hours are inherited from company level settings in SIS. If your shift hours are different than the company level settings, SIS gives you the option to adjust your hours here. You can start in the first column by entering the contract, crew, or job information. This can be crew members, job names, project or crew numbers, or a combination of both. You will then enter the task in the task column. When you tab over to the quantity column, you can enter the quantity associated with that task. Please note that the quantity field will not accept more than 50 characters. You will then enter the hours that you have scheduled for that task. After you have completed your daily schedule, you can either save or submit. You can now select the next day to plan. If you have no work scheduled for this day, click the No Work Scheduled button in the lower right corner. A pop-up screen will appear asking you to confirm that you want to mark this day as no work scheduled. It also warns you that you cannot undo this once done. Press OK. Note that Saturday has been removed from your schedule. You can do the same for Sunday as well. The no work scheduled button can be used for any day that you do not plan on being on the job site. You can now go back to the day that you currently have scheduled. If you need to add more tasks than the initial five lines provided, just press the Add button in the lower left corner. Users have the option to add as many tasks as they need. You can also delete tasks by checking any of the boxes on the right-hand side under Delete. When you have completed your schedule, press the Submit Schedule button in the upper left corner. A pop-up will appear asking you to confirm your schedule. Once it has been submitted, another pop-up will appear stating your schedule is complete for that day. By clicking OK, you will not be able to edit your scheduled tasks again. And you can now plan for Monday if you want or just click the Cancel button if you prefer to wait. Once your shift has ended, SIS will allow you to score your submitted schedule. Enter the percent completion for every task that was scheduled. If your task is less than 100% complete, choose the reason code that best represents the obstacle responsible for the task not being completed. 
You will then enter the number of hours not worked as scheduled. This can then be elaborated in the detailed reason code section. If a task was not completed, you have the option to push the task forward up to two days. Users have the option of entering additional notes for each task to further describe the obstacle or the current status of the task. Users also have the option to upload up to four images for each task. When completed, select the Save in the lower right corner. When all the tasks have been scored, press the Score Schedule button to submit your data.